All right, so we're about to go polish the hood anyway, and uh, I can't get all the, the hood area because the, the camera's positioned in such a way that, you know, I can only do my best. I can only do so much with this. So I'll maybe try to angle it down a little more uh, away from the window or windshield, and there we go. That's the best I can do given the placement of the camera. Uh, don't mind the background. I'm just uh, trying to listen to some... Uh, Fighting game tournament stuff, combo breakers going on in the background, top eight finals. Don't want to miss it exactly, so I have it in the background. But we're about to, yes, polish the hood. And before we, uh, you know, really go into it, I already uh, polished the back as I record this. And um, uh, you may see that in the GoPro side of things, uh, stuck on the uh, tri uh, tripod. No first person view, unfortunately, because, you know, I. Um, uh, I was really just kind of into it. I was, and uh, I didn't want to take off the uh, GoPro from the tripod anyway, because the way it's set up, it's not uh, accessible-ish. Anyway, so with that out of the way, we're gonna go polish the hood. So what I'm gonna be using is the same thing with uh, a 3D one, and um, I am going to be also using the Max Shine uh, polisher, which I'll bust out right here. And you may kind of see right here, and sorry about the light. Oh, let me turn on my light right here. So you can kind of see right here, uh, that signature orange reddish color. It's a dual action polisher. And um, yeah, it's just the entry level polisher that I have. Uh, I messed around with it on my mom's car for a little bit, but um, this will be the first time using the blue pad from Lake Country right here. You can kind of see it with the light right there. And I'm about to go plug this uh, bad boy in and uh, we'll uh, get it going, so. And then before we really get into it, let me show you uh, what it looks like up close. Hopefully you guys can catch that. I'm using the uh, DSLR, so you sh should be able to see what's going on up close a little better than, um, let me turn off my headlight right here. And let me see, yeah, you can kind of see it in the light. There's some water spotting right there. Um, ooh, let me try to get that to focus. And let me actually um, see if I can turn off the light right here. And yeah, look at that. So you can kind of already get an idea of what's going on with my paint. There's a lot going on more than I thought. Uh, really goes to show that, you know, different lights really are important. Yeah, you can, you can see that light right there. Uh, um, if you focus on that light, if I move the camera around, you can see all those spots right there. So, yeah. So that already gives you an idea of what's going on with the hood. Um, really goes to show that, you know, again, different lights really show up, uh, really show different things. So it's kind of important to have like certain lights. And that's why you have all those like crazy, uh, so you see all those like crazy lights in like those detail shops. So a method I like to do with uh, polishing or uh, you know putting the stuff on the polisher rather is to really um, actually, let me turn on my light here again. And uh, you can do the certain, the, 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 what do you call, the standard dots right here, right? I already shook it up, so that's fine. Don't worry about that. So let's put the dots right here, maybe four, right? But you know, you can also do it like this and uh, you know have an extra applicator right here and then kind of like spread, out, spread around a little bit so that way you don't have to like use your finger. But also um, you, have it, you have some on the, the applicator as well and I'm gonna use that as a mean, means to uh, spread it around so that way it'll be a nice even thin uh, spread. And uh, it, it really has been preventing a lot of the splatter that I don't really like. So I'm just gonna put a little more on there, just a little a couple of dots. And then let this get spread out right here. I saw this uh, method um, in the boat video, like a po boat polishing video. So I'm gonna use that idea. And um, make it a little easier on my on uh, on me anyway you know it's hate to see splatter 
on the car. Um, you know, it, it definitely splats less. It's not perfect, but it definitely um, helps with that. So we're just gonna show the hood and then I'm gonna, you know, do my thing, polish it up. Um, and then the rest of it will be a uh, sort of time-lapse compilation thing. But nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and um, get this bad boy going. So let me make sure there's nothing on there. So let me now get it going with this. Uh, I'm still, you know, relatively a beginner. So if you see me like kind of wiggle and stuff like that, that's because of that. So um, there we go. We have it on a three and a half, by the way. Okay, so that went a lot better than I thought. We just did the first half of the hood, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reapply to the other half and uh, we're gonna continue from there. All right, continuing the polishing. Put a little bit more on here, not too much. So it's some dots around like that I already have a, a decent amount of product on the car anyway so I'm gonna go off to the side uh, in case the camera gets blocked or something so I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this <laughs>
Okay, so that went a lot smoother in terms of uh, actually doing the thing. Let's see if that uh, first sesh did anything to the etched uh, water spotting and stuff like that. By the way, that all that happened during 2022. Again, <laughs> that was the year of me not caring for my car, unfortunately. I, you know, that was when I got this car. This is a 2022 Corolla hatchback. So well, one whole year of just water spotting sprinkler on the side and everything me not caring as much me just you know just being that average average joe um like a number of people right like many mo most other people anyway so that explains why there is some uh, a lot going on on the hood alone right you know uh even in the back there was some stuff going on too as i was working on that too um but yeah um the actual motion of everything you know, uh, the polisher itself performed beautifully, but uh, let's see about the actual result with that first session. And uh, what I can tell you is that I can only see so far anyway, the, mi uh, the micro scratches and stuff like that. That's okay, that's what I kind of expected. Um, but when it comes to like the water spotting, I think it's gone. I think that's uh, uh, pretty much mostly gone, but let me go ahead and uh, assess it with the light right here. Oh yeah. Uh, let me take you guys close. As soon as I am done with the, um, oh, there is one little spot right there, but I think I need to just go over that a little bit more, but already is looking pretty good. Let me take you guys a little closer here. All right, let's let that focus. And you can definitely see the difference, right? I think. Uh, so when we shine, when we focused on that light right there, right? The, my um, garage light, there was like spotting. It's just like crazy water spotting, etching and stuff like that. And it's looking a lot clearer. You can kind of see on the camera anyway, all the my little micro scratch and stuff like that. But um, we got a lot of the water spotting off. So that is actually, actually awesome. So we're not going for like super perfection because this is a daily driver anyway. So there is no point to that. So I'm gonna go for one more pass and we'll see from there uh, if I feel like doing more of these passes. It's actually, um, the Max Shine polish actually is really smooth. Uh, I don't know if you can see that right there. Oh yeah, there's that little bit of etching that I'm talking about right there. That one etching right there. So I may go over that first and then we'll go for another pass. Um, but I am definitely already more uh, happy with the initial results because there was a lot of water spotting, let me tell you. So there's only like the really harsh spotting left and it's like very few. So I'll, I am definitely happy with that already. So we're making some progress. So I'm gonna, again, do one more pass and probably a time lapse, but yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm actually all, I'm pretty stoked already. So we're on our way. It's not gonna be perfect. So we're just trying to get this uh, like shiny, like, you know, as best as we can. It's not gonna be 100% like it was before. You know, that's nothing we can do about that. But again, I'm so happy with the results already. I was able to get all that water spotting off, apart from the, you know, the really harsh, you know, etching, uh, which is again, far and few. So uh, I'm gonna focus on those. And yeah, there's one right there. Um, and then that's I, well, all I can see so far but yeah, um, it's just really the micro scratching. And you know, this is, you know, this is just with the 3D one, just to uh, remind people. And yeah, so I'm already pretty happy with the initial passing anyway. So let's get all this stuff back on here. Let me check out what's going on on tech uh, combo breaker. Kind of spread around a little bit. 
And then, here we go, redoing it. This polisher is just so easy to use. I can, like, I can't believe I, can, I just, I can use it with one hand. <laughs> I thought, like, for some reason, when I first, first time used it, it was like, oh my God, you know, but I was using the Eurofiber, so maybe the Eurofiber had to do with it. And this blue pad right here makes it a lot easier to use, it seems like, and it is a great one step for sure. It does cut and polish for sure at the same time. Uh, I'll put up a picture with a different car, you know, the Countryman. I tested on that one with a three inch pad with a, uh, a cordless um, polisher and that worked great. I mean, that, that alone made me convinced that this is the, the pad to go with for me using the, the 3D one right here. So, um, sorry about the lighting and everything. I'm trying to like shine my light right here, but definitely tell right there, boom, you know. <laughs> You know, this is how my garage is, and uh, um, I, I just really like the operation of it. It's, it's just, uh, it feels great. It's just very smooth. Um, you know, I think doing that uh, uh, sort of practice run on the Countryman kind of made me, you know, um, learn quite a bit of things more than I thought. <laughs> so let me go ahead and um, wipe, off the, wipe off the hood, see what we got here. So uh, bear with me here. We've worked on this hood quite a bit of time, so I'm really going to uh, start cutting it, or um, start cutting it short, I should say. I'm, I'm just gonna go one brief pass over certain spots just to see if I can get some other scratching, but um, yeah, looking a lot clearer. I know this is not a scientific like comparison or anything like that, Oh, let's let the camera focus. Oh, yeah, let me turn off my light. Previously, there was a, there was a water spot right there, like a bit, very big etching right there. I, um, I'm trying to angle it with the camera here, but the fact of the matter is that it does look better. Uh, you may see the scratch right there. I'll point it with the scan light, like right there that micro scratch over there, but all the, all those water spots though, oh man, they're gone, they're gone. It's, yeah, again, it's just, you know, the micro scratches. That's the only thing that's left and not even like swirl marks, it's like just micro scratches. Cause um, swirl marks, if I had swirl marks, you can definitely see like, you know, that this like haze around the light for sure, but the light looks clear. You can definitely see the uh, the mirror like finish right there, you know, um, reflecting off of the garage wall right there. Here, I'll even let that focus correctly. So when I, cause I, cause I, when I do this, I'll, I'll unfocus it. So, so this area over here, you can already tell there's like very little marring or uh, swirl marks. It's just the, the little, um, Micro scratches, like I've been saying, that even the, this camera, the DSLR, my uh, Sony A6400, is not catching. But I can see it with my eyes, so I can definitely tell you that there's like scratches up there, uh, micro scratches up there. You can kind of catch it right there, right there. I'm trying to like point it to you guys. But other than that, yeah, like over here looks relatively. Um, clean here let me see let me see there's like yeah there's so uh, right there i guess but but man it, um i'm still happy though i'm very happy um all, like pretty much most of the water spotting is gone though i can definitely tell you that so i'll do one more pass up there 
uh, where, the, where the upper part of the hood is. And then um, try to get that scratch right there. It's like right, right straight across the wiper right there like that. And um, we're gonna call it a day on the hood and then we'll do the rest on the, on the, uh, the rest of the car here. <laughs> 